family with a great mm, mm. It's your teacher Anansieta. Welcome to another lesson today. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Yesterday we talked about numbers and we said numbers, we sang numbers, we did so many activities. Who can remind me that song we sang for numbers 1 to 10? Someone to remind me about that song. I really like that tune. Uh -huh. How was the, 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 the tune? How was the song? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm still waiting for someone to respond to that. We did the song. Huh? Why are you forgetting? Ah, should I remind you? I guess I should remind you. Huh? Should I remind you? Should I remind all my kids what we learned yesterday? I think I will not remind you today. Today I have another game. Hmm? This game is nice and especially when you are playing it in groups. Huh? Let me tell you how the game goes. The game goes like this. You divide yourself into different groups. Then what happens is your group member who is representing you comes and picks a number here. The numbers are here, but they're jumbled. We don't know which one is which. Then you can see on our table, we have varieties of materials. And these materials are divided into different numbers. They are grouped into numbers. There are those that are five, there are those that are 10, there are those that are four. So you're the one to identify the group of the items according to the number you have picked. So, and we are only doing it for three seconds. Then when you pick the item, you're going to stick it against the number on the board. Should I give you an example? So when you say Janet's group presents someone, then someone says, teacher, it's me. You run very fast, pick a number, then identify. So the, show the people the number. Are you able to see the number? The number is five. So you're here trying to find out where are the five things that the teacher said. These ones are not five. These ones are not five. And these ones are not five. Ah, where is this number five? And they're looking around and you're counting as you find out where is number five. And you're here and you say, teacher, I found the five groups. So what do you do? You come here, get the masking tape and stick your five items and you make sure you confirm there are five. We have one, two, three, four, five. And you stick the five items against number five. Are we together? That is how you make sure you do it. And we are counting. We are doing it in three seconds. You are supposed to do this in only three seconds. Then the second one comes again. So number five is already done. Second one comes, uh -huh, gets a number. And he says, teacher, my number is seven. So you are here checking for the seven items and you are like counting all of them so that you can see where are the seven items. Where are the seven items? These are not seven. Where are the seven items? These are not seven. These are exactly. This is the seven. And we are counting. If you pass, you surpass, you surpass the number of seconds you're supposed to use, you give a turn to another one. So they group the numbers to the against the number. And you confirm. Are they seven? If you have left more than seven, you get a wrong. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Correct. Then another one comes again, picks a number, and he says, uh huh, the number is two. So you check around and see which ones are two. You come, pick, and you are here, and you look at where number two is, and you stick your items against number two. And you make sure you confirm they are. Two. Then another one comes, picks a number, and he says, Teacher, my item shows that they're, num they're supposed to be 10. So you come here and check. Which ones are 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. No, no, no. 6, 7, no, 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 no. And see. And 2, 3. Oh, teacher, my number 10 items are there. These ones are the teachers colors and pens and my pens are there 10 of them and now you stick against your number 
ten. And that is how the game continues. And the other one comes again and checks out. Which number is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be six. And you are checking around and you're seeing where is the six items that I'm supposed to pick. Two. This one's a row. So are they number six? No, number six is not there. Which means number six is the hidden treasure. Then he comes and checks and finds another one. Teacher, I found number nine. That is a group again. Looks for number nine things. And he says, teacher, these ones are nine. And we are here with our number nine. And we stick the nine items against the number nine. We stick the nine items against the number nine. And another one again comes and checks around and says, what? Three. So he says, these are three. What are three here? These are the chairs that are three here. So he comes, sticks very fast. The chairs against number three. So we are seeing how many chairs are there. We are seeing three chairs here. Three chairs against number three. Uh -huh. Another one comes and picks a number and he says, this is number eight. Let me see who is number eight. Uh-huh, number eight are here. So I pick my number eight and put them here against eight. And the game can continue. You can continue with the numbers up to number 100 with the same game. And the nails. We are remaining with three things. This one is number one. So number one is the jug. Wow. And now you stick it against the number one. Then the, you check the last one and you see this is number four. Number four is the cups we have on the table. So have you seen? You stick your cups nicely on the board and then you see how many are these these are the remaining ones which are number these ones are supposed to be six who has taken the the sixth one who has second the sixth one the sixth one is supposed to be here they have not been. So, when you look at the board, we are able to see the number and the number value. If I'm talking about 10 pens, I am able to see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I'm talking about 5 blocks, I'm able to see 1, 2, 3, 4, five if i'm talking about four cups i'm able to see one two three four if i'm talking about three chairs i am able to see one two three and that is how we ended our game and finally we got that janet's team was the winning team so what do we tell janet janet was able to come on the board and he was given a free smiley face for being the winning team. And so Janet was able to write on the board one, two to represent the number of items in that tin, three to represent the chairs. So we were writing one jug. How many jugs can you see on the board? It is only one jug. Then we have two blocks. Yeah, someone has told me the pens have fallen. I'll pick them. I've seen them. Then we have three chairs. Then what do we say? Four cups. Uh-huh. Why am I adding S and why did I not write here jugs? Who can tell me why have I written here blocks and not block and I've only wrote here jug? Can I hear an answer? Yes, correct. You have the correct answer. Can you give that one a very big clap? It, jug because it is one. We talk about jug when it is one. When there are many. If they were two, 
three, four, five, we'll talk about jugs. And that's why I will write two blocks and not two block. That's why I'll write three chairs and not three chair. That is how I will write four cups and not four cup. Then I have five blocks again here. Uh -huh. I have six glue sticks. These are glue sticks. Have you ever seen them? Then we have seven shapes. The shapes are seven. Then we have eight letters. The eight. Then we have nine crayons. Oh, and our pens that had fallen, we are counting them and they are ten pens. How many did you find? They were ten pens. So you say ten pens. Anybody who still has a problem when it comes to writing the numbers and representing them according to how many they are, Anybody who has a problem there that needs help, anytime you have a problem, just switch on to this lesson and you will see how we count objects according to their number values. Are we together? That was a very interesting lesson and I hope you'll still join me in the next lesson so that we can show numbers 1 to 20, shows number 1 to 30 until we are able to show numbers 1 to 50. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next lesson.